If you're moving to Raleigh, North Carolina, and you're considering the Southern Wake County side of things, you may want to consider Fuquay Verena. Now let's start with saying that right, because I know a lot of people, including myself, when I first moved here, had a really tough time saying it. So it's Fuquay Verena. So today we're gonna to be discussing the pros and cons of Fuquay Verena. Now Fuquay Verena is actually south of Holly Springs and southwest of Garner. And it's one of the top suburbs that has absolutely exploded in growth and in population. And a fun fact, it used to actually be a tobacco and farming area that is now one of the number one places to live within the triangle. More and more people are interested in this area and with that is coming a lot of growth, new construction and new businesses and shops in the area. Now it's a great mix between country living and still being not too far away from the heart of the city, the heart of the city where it all happens, which is Raleigh. So if you're looking for more available acreage or even a tight-knit community. So Fuquay Verena is really a great place to live. And if you wanna know more about Fuquay Verena, stay tuned because we're at it right now. Hey y'all, I'm Brandi Nimmergut with EXP Realty. I'm a local realtor here in Raleigh, your connection to all things real estate and all things Raleigh. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know all there is about what it's like to work, live, eat, sleep, play, and yes, everything in between, make sure to click the little subscribe button and tap that little bell so you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. My team and I get calls from people like you every single week that are considering relocating to Raleigh or within the Raleigh area. So feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, so let's just dive right on in. So I'm going to start with safety. So Fuquay Verena is one of the safest places to live. So Money Geek actually rated Fuquay Verena, one of the, actually the number one safest small town in North Carolina, both in 2021 and 2022. And Money Wise actually ranked Fuquay Verena in the top 10 safest places to live. And Homes.com actually ranked Fuquay Verena number six when it comes down to home price, square footage, income to ratio, crime index, and working from home. Now, niche.com actually voted in 2018 best places for millennials to live, as well as the sixth best place for veterans to retire that's most affordable. And believe it or not, if you're a dog lover, it's one of the top places to be if you love dogs. Now, we came from Long Beach, California, and it was a huge dog city, and we love our dogs, and we love our dog parks out here. So if you're a dog lover, Fuquay Verena just may be for you. Now, if sports are important to you, one of the things that stands out to me about Fuquay Verena High School is it's actually home to three athletic association championships, and that includes baseball, soccer, and gymnastics. Now, if you're relocating here, say from California, New York, or Jersey, you've probably never heard of Fuquay Verena. In fact, 10 to 20 years ago, a lot of people didn't know where Fuquay Verena was. And if you talk to someone that lived here 10 or 20 years ago, you'll probably find out that they were able to buy a house at 150 to 200,000. But that's just not the case these days. Now the median price point in Fuquay Verena is right around 415,000 for a resale and just under 525,000 for a new construction. Now this is still quite a bit lower than the median home prices, especially in the Raleigh area, but it's a price people are willing to pay for quieter pace of life and less dense population than the Raleigh area. As far as homes, you'll notice in Fuquay Verena, you'll find more land in comparison to some other areas, especially for the price point. A lot of people actually compare the amount of land that you can get to that of Clayton. And as far as distance to Raleigh, Clayton and Fuquay Verena are pretty comparable. They're about a 30 minute to 45 minute drive, depending on which side of town you live on. Now, one of the pros about living in Fuquay Verena is they just got a brand new Costco and it is huge. 
It's actually one of the biggest Costco's in all of North Carolina. And I know I love going to Costco, not for the, not for the free sample food. <laughs> That's always nice too. But one of the things I love about Costco is especially during Christmas time, all their decorations, their Christmas trees, all the fun presents that you can buy for the children. There's just so much to explore there. And this place is absolutely ginormous. And what's nice about this area where Costco is, it borders Fuquay Verena and Gardner and Raleigh. So it's a really good location depending where you need to go. And you also have Chick-fil-A there and Starbucks. I know those are always two popular places no matter where you're from. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to a con now and that's gonna be the traffic. Now with interest in coming and moving to Fuquay Verena, bringing in all the extra population, it's backing up all our roads. Now there's just a few ways to get in and out of Fuquay Verena. So if you're not working remotely from home and you actually have to commute, especially into the Triangle, the RTP area, it's a little bit of a trek. It could take you anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to get there. Now I know a lot of people are working remotely, which is why they don't mind moving to Fuquay Verena. So definitely keep that in mind if you do have to commute to an office. But if you wanna switch over to a pro, one of the great things is they are currently working on completing the 540 access way, the Beltline. I know I've talked about that in some of my other videos. We have the inner loop, which is the 440, and the outer loop, which is the 540. And right now it's not completed. It looks kind of like a C. So they're working on completing that, which will definitely help with the traffic and congestion and get you quicker into Raleigh and where your, your destination. So good news too, if you're looking for a new construction home, there's plenty of new constructions home, new construction homes in Fuquay Verena. Now, one thing that you'll wanna do is definitely pack your patients because with new construction, as nice as they are, you're gonna have to deal with all the traffic from all the new construction trucks, all the beeping, banging. So it will be nice when it's all said and done, but just remember that's something you'll wanna take into consideration. If you've watched some of my videos, <laughs> Those are my dogs, I guess it's playtime right now. Okay, I gotta show you, I gotta show you what this little squeak is. This is my little squeak squeak. Are you my little squeak squeak? Yes, you're my little squeak squeak. So, this is Ella Mae. This is the one that you hear making all that noise. She just absolutely loves this toy, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> and this is Dolly. Yes. She loves her stuffed animals. Not so much the squeaky, unless she's trying to steal it from her sister. But this is Dolly. Say hey, Dolly. Say hey, sweet girl, say hey. <laughs> now you may consider this a pro or a con, but Fuquay Verena is southwest of Raleigh and it's on the way to Holly Springs and Apex. It's just a little bit further out. Now you'll notice that Fuquay Verena is a lot more rural. It seems more country. So it's gonna be a bit slower paced and you'll notice there's still a lot of farmland around and forest, which makes for a really peaceful and serene drive. So you'll feel like you're out of the hustle and bustle, but you're still a 25 to 40 minute drive, depending what side of town you live on. So you can still drive in a fairly short amount of time to be part of all the action, but if you're one that wants to immediately be in the action and step out, Fuquay Verena may not be for you. So this is a fun fact for you. The number one way to know if you're from here or not is if you can say the city name correctly. And I know we went over this earlier in the video, but again, it is Fuquay Verena. Now it's a really fun name to say, it can be tongue tying if you say it too fast, but I know I hear so many variations and people will call and say, I wanna go see Fakwe. I was seeing Fiku um, for what? How do you say that name? Just so you can practice, it took me a little bit to say it. Just remember a few things, Fiu, Quay, kind of like K, <laughs> Fuque Verena. You'll be a pro at the end of this. Now, as far as shopping goes, you're gonna find the standard chain stores here. You have a Target. I know how important that is to so many of you. You have Starbucks, Lowe's, Home Depot, Panera Bread. Do we have Chick-fil-A? Yes, we have Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. And of course, the infamous Bojangles of the South. If you haven't tried Bojangles, if you're into sweet tea or wanna find out what that sweet tea is about, they serve it sweet. It's like a cold cup of sugar, too sweet for me. 
but they do have some dang good biscuits and chicken. But my favorite spots are the downtown areas. I love the restaurants, the bakeries, you know how I am with food and with sweets. So one of the places I love downtown is called Stick Boy. So if you're into sweet treats, they do vegan options, gluten-free. They have these amazing cinnamon buns with just ooey gooey yummy frosting, so delicious. They have some amazing cheesecakes. We always get the cheesecakes when we have little get togethers and bring those and there's never a slice left. They're always gone. So definitely wanna check out Stick Boys. And if you're looking for a great bite to eat, try Vicious Fishes. Try to say that five times fast. So it's a great uh, brewery place that you can grab a great burger, some fish tacos, some great beers. You know, North Carolina is known for their beers and they got a good selection there as well. Then there's also Aviator Brewing. Again, if you wanna grab a cold brewski, definitely check them out. They're very popular down there. So you know me and my fun facts. Here's another fact for you. So Fuquay Verena used to have two different names. Can you guess what those are? You're right. The first one was Fuquay and the second one was Verena. There was actually a town called Fuquay and a town called Verena. And in 1963, everyone got together and said, we wanna rename our town. What should we rename it? And after everybody had their say and their vote came in, they came up with the great unique name of Fuquay dash Verena. So they've actually trademarked it, that little dash in there. So now after 1963, the town became known as Fuquay Verena. Now, one of the fun facts about that, I guess fun fact number two, is that because they were two separate towns, they have two separate downtowns that are about a mile from each other. So when you're driving through the street and you see all the little signs of which way to go, it'll actually um, say this way to downtown Fuquay, and this way to downtown Verena. So there's your fun fact for the day. Now, another thing that some people may consider a pro or a con is the fact that Fuquay Verena really doesn't get snow. Now, the reason why is being on the Southern side, it's less likely to get snow than say Durham or Chapel Hill. But the good news is it's not impossible. It does happen, but usually it's a light dusting. So if you don't like snow, don't worry. You're not missing anything. You're more likely just to get rain, some chilly cold weather, but that's about it. Now, not saying it won't ever snow, the chances of it are pretty slim. And again, when it does snow out here, it usually lasts for 24 to 48 hours. Some, some areas, they're lucky to have it for a week, but if you really want the real snow, the real deal to you know go skiing, sledding, that's where you're gonna wanna go up to the mountains, but that's a whole other conversation. If you wanna know where to go for that, shoot me a DM and I will definitely hook you up. So time for another fun fact. The Mineral Springs was actually founded by a local farmer who found a mineral spring on his farm and it was thought to have healing powers. So he actually built a hotel around it and advertised for people to come to this healing power mineral springs, which was a huge success. So another pro about Fuquay Verena is there's a lot of parks. Now I'm talking 6,000 square feet worth of parks in South Park. So of course we have the Fuquay Mineral Springs Park, but we also have South Park, which is over 6,000 square feet of park. And what's really cool about this is you have the splash pads for the kids, Fleming Loop Recreational Park, the Carol Johnson Environmental Park, which is over 28 acres, and they have lots of natural trails that you can hike or walk. And then you have all the shops on Main, which have over 30 shops. And one of my favorite places to go down there for coffee is called Cultivate. They have yummy baked treats like donuts. You can get things that are gluten-free. I'm gluten-free, that's why I talk about that a lot. And they even have ice cream, chocolate milk for the kids, because you know, kids gotta sip on something while we're enjoying our coffee. And they even have dog treats for the dog. So make it a family affair and go down there. That's what we love to do on the weekends. And if you're feeling like a cold beer, I know I mentioned this before, Aviator Brewery is absolutely amazing. And they have these loaded barbecue tots. Definitely gotta try those. Those are my daughter's favorite. Oh, I forgot to mention the mac and cheese bites. <laughs> you know, I could go on and on about food. 
there you have it. There's some of the pros and cons about living in Fuquay, Verena. If you found this helpful, if you can hit the like button to help others find this information as well, I'd really appreciate it. And if you are considering relocating to Raleigh or anywhere surrounding the Raleigh area, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. However you want to get a hold of me, I got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. Till next time, see y'all later.